You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. sometimes feel stuck this is the healing pendulum with your host kim DeBoer. working with the emotion code kim is here to assist you the healing pendulum aims to support people to open their hearts through emotional transformations in order to bring more happiness and joy into their lives so now please welcome the host of the healing pendulum kim DeBoer. Welcome to the Healing Pendulum. I am your host, Kim DeBoer, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And happy Monday, everybody. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to tune in to the show. Um, Before I go any further, I'm just going to introduce myself uh, to those uh, who are here for the first time. I am known as the Alternative Health Detective, specializing in the emotion code and body code healing modalities. I'm also a certified transformational health coach, as well as a number one best-selling author in Healthy Living, The Secrets to Natural Health and Wellness. I work with people globally who suffer from anxiety, stress, depression, toxicity, and past traumas to transform their health so they can gain more energy, have more peace, and live pain-free. I believe that changing your mindset about illness and disease is key to improving your health and assisting your body to heal. Um, And uh, as we do every Monday, I am, it's now time for the quote of the day. And I've chosen a quote by Buddha. And um, it's in our lives, change is unavoidable. Loss is unavoidable. In the adaptability and ease with which we experience change lies our happiness and freedom. And I just love that quote. And and like this month's theme um, of the show, the show's theme is health and happiness. And I think that we're all striving for better health and more happiness in our lives. And today we are going to be in a conversation with Jackie McLean, who will share her expertise and her knowledge about how health and happiness actually go hand in hand. So Jackie McLean helps entrepreneurs and business owners who struggle with substance abuse and other addictions. She facilitates them to change anything in their lives that are not uh, working for them. Jackie helps her clients get out of overwhelm and into the realm of possibilities. Jackie promises that when you work with her at the end of the day, you will overcome your addiction, get rid of the noises in your head, have a clean slate and move forward to finding out what happiness means to you. Jackie encourages you to dream big, go after your targets and create a life far beyond what you have imagined and thought possible. Welcome to the show, Jackie. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here today and to share some valuable information. Great. Yes. Now, health and (laughs) happiness. I mean, it's such a great topic. Um, and that's really the basis of my of, of my business, actually, is, you know, your journey to health and happiness. And uh, as I said earlier, it's like it's I think that we're all striving for better health and more happiness. And it's just, you know, finding a way that works for us. So. Um, so, yeah. So. um so tell us more about you. Tell us tell us uh, more about your business and what you do and how you help people. 
can I uh, primarily help uh, entrepreneurs and business owners who struggle with substance abuse and addiction? And although most of them, you know, come to me and say, please help me quit smoking, please help me stop drinking or whatever addiction or scenario they're caught up with, the bottom line that I have realized over these past many years is they're crying out for help and they want, you know, what they're really asking is I want to be happy. Yeah. Uh, I want to be happy. I've, I've grown up in an abusive relationship. Most of them don't even know what being happy means. They don't know what, what it means to be happy. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's really, a, you know, a sad scenario. And I think happiness does mean something different for, for everyone as well. You know, I oh, mean, totally. what maybe what makes you happy does not make me happy. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. right, right. Yeah. And, uh, but it, but and, it really, coming, happiness yeah. has a so huge play in our health. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So coming back to that, Kim, you know, like you mentioned, we all have our different viewpoints on what being happy means. And for many, I've also noticed the language is when I, when this happens, then I'll be happy. You know, when I meet my, uh, my life partner, I'll be happy. When I get that new job, I'll be happy. When I go right. on a holiday, I'll be happy. When I get that new car. And none of that is true. No. None of that is true, right? Happiness begins within us. Mm -hmm. Happiness begins within us. And speaking of which, you know, I I have one one of my mentors, uh, Gary Douglas. I heard him say, "Happiness is a choice." And when I heard him say that happiness is a choice, I'm like going, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> because we have put happiness from out of us, you know, that something else will make us happy. That person, that thing will make us happy and not that it's a choice and it starts with us. Right? That's so right. And I, so yeah, I always that. say that, you know, happiness is an inside job. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and there's so many of us that are, you know, striving for the happiness. And we just, as you say, we just, we, we don't, we're not, we're not getting happy because we think it's coming from the outside. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And uh, and, you know, when you're not happy on the inside, that will affect your health. Totally. That will affect your well-being. Totally. Yeah. And we see that all around us. Right. Uh, we see that all around us. Um, if you go to the hospital. Right. For example, or to a medical clinic, uh, people who are not healthy, you know, they're there with pain or. Uh, they have to, they're getting ready for surgery. You never see a smile on your face because if there's no help, how can you be happy? Right, exactly. And that's where you come in, right, Kim, where you take care of their emotional health, their mental well-being, so that they can truly be happy. So that's your, that's what, that's your, that's your mantra. <laughs> yeah, it say. is. It really <laughs> is. And yeah. Um, yeah. And so how do you work with people um, to bring, to help them with their happiness? When people work with me, you know, again, most of them will call me on the phone, tell me about their problems, tell me that they want to quit an addiction, I want to quit smoking. And many of them keep saying, Jackie, fix me. Jackie, fix me. And again, you know, there's nothing to be fixed to begin with. And I'm not here to fix anyone. I tell people when they decide to work with me that you've got to make the demand, make the change, make the demand that this has to stop whatever addiction that you're going through, 
whether it's even if it's physical discomfort or pain or depression, make the demand that you want to be healthy, that you want to be happy because it is an inside job. And people like you and me, we are there to facilitate that process. Yes. Yes, just to help them on their way. Facilitate that process. Yeah. 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 And, you know, when you do, you know, I mean, it's just such a joy to see people happy. You know, they're laughing, they're joking, they're, um, you know, it's just a different energy. It's just a different energy that, you know, they put out. When we are with kids, Kim, right, you. There's a park close to where I live and, you know, kids playing in the water park. And what do you hear? Just giggles and laughter, giggles and laughter, giggles of laughter. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. To be a a kid again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and they, they are a picture of health. Yes. You know, you can't be giggling and laughing and be grumpy and be depressed. They don't go together. They do not go together. No, they yeah. do not. They, it's yeah. impossible yeah. to be happy and grumpy at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Jackie, it is time for a short, short break. Um, so, everyone, we will yeah. be right back with more on uh, a subject of health and happiness and our very special guest, Jackie McLean. So don't go away. We'll be right back. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 B.C. to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 B.C. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back to The Healing Pendulum. We are live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Kim DeBoer, and today I have a very special guest with me, Jackie McLean. Uh, Jackie is a, a hypnot- hypnotist, and she works with people with addictions. Um, and the subject of today is actually health and happiness. And just before the break, um, Jackie, you were talking about uh, you know, children playing in, in playgrounds <clears throat> and that they're always laughing, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah. laughing and joking yeah. and giggling and and without a care in the world. But the opposite yeah. of that is also true as well. Like when people are down and depressed and they're riddled with pain and, you know, there's absolutely no smile on their face. They get withdrawn yeah. and they have, a you know, just this sadness about them, yeah. um, you know, and you know, just those those opposites. And so yeah. have you ever seen people that, you know, are are ill, but they're still got a smile on their face? Yeah. And that's really what I want to elaborate on, Mo Kim. Happiness is a choice. 
happiness is a choice. You know, I live in this apartment building here in Langley, and uh, there's a couple. They are in their late sixties. Uh, they both smoke. Uh, I've been talking to this gentleman. He's. They're both so wonderful, Rob and Tina. I love them. They both smoke, and I was chatting with Rob once, and he mentioned that he has been such struggling with chronic pain for almost 30 years. And I was surprised because he's always has a smile on his face. Right. And so you uh, had no idea. Lady, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. He's always joking with all the neighbors as we go up and down the elevator, both where they're not allowed to smoke in this apartment building that we live in. So they go out to smoke. They're happy doing their own thing. They always have a smile on their face. Rob is, has been riddled with chronic pain for 30 years. And his wife is riddled with pain as, as well because I know that she walks with the cane. Right. right. And yet, these, so happiness is a choice. Yes, happiness it is. Happiness is a choice. Right. And it's like no matter what you're going through, we are going to have hard times. We are going to have losses yeah. in our life or or yeah. some, you know, challenges. But, yeah. you know, we just need to make the best of it and know yeah. that, you know, this too will pass and just to make the best yeah. of what we have and just, Correct. you know, you know, yeah. And, and you know, Jackie, uh, I know that, you know, I had mentioned that you're a hypnotist. And yeah. which is very cool. <laughs> and uh, so what are your thoughts on how, you know, something like this could be turned around? Like, you know, they're very happy, but they still are in chronic pain. Yeah. Right. right. So, so what I have seen in my experience, Kim, working, uh, you know, using these amazing tools of hypnosis for the past 14 years, I've seen change in people you know, almost immediately. Most of my clients quit smoking in a single session. Most of my clients quit alcohol in a single session. And why? You know, people ask me why. How can, how is this possible? So number one, hypnosis is a tool where we have the opportunity to access our subconscious mind. You know, we are, we are aware that we have a conscious analytical mind and we also have that part of us that guides us to make inner changes. We call, some of us call it the subconscious mind. So we have the analytical mind, our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. And in our subconscious mind, we hold all of our beliefs, our behaviors, our habits. So if you have a belief that's not serving you, move forward in life to be healthy and happy, here's your opportunity to change it. Right. If you have a habit that you would like to change, you know, I'm tired of smoking for the past 40 years. I want to change it. Hypnosis is a tool to access that part of us, that part of our mind where we can go deep within to make the change. So if people can quit smoking after smoking for 40 and 45 years, they can change their mind about health, yes. about any other struggle in their life because they're going deep within. It's almost like rewiring your mind. And it, yes, it truly is. And, right. you know, right. as you know, I work with the subconscious as well in a different way, but still accessing, right. you know, those limiting yeah. beliefs and, yeah. and uh, all of that. And, you know, it's pre-programming. It's all like a, like it's right. the most powerful computer in the world and it yeah. just needs to yeah. be reprogrammed. Totally. Yeah. 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 And it's not that hard to do. <laughs> Yeah. Really, not at right? all. That's what I love. <laughs> I know, I know. And you know, I mean for, for Jackie, for somebody to quit drinking in one session with you or you know, yeah. quit smoking cigarettes in one session, I mean that is remarkable. That's a, that's amazing. Yeah. And you know, it yeah. so it's about giving yourself that chance and just, you know, try yeah. it. 
you know, right. um, yeah. be open yeah. to this work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Kim, I joke with many of my clients because most of them, you know, they're tired besides smoking or drinking too much or, you know, cocaine, whatever struggles they they, they obviously, it affects other areas in their life. So they're not of sleeping course. well, right? Yeah. They've put on a lot of weight. So they're sluggish. They're tired. They're exhausted. So when most people come to me, they're sitting there grumpy, really hoping against hope that I can save them. Right. right. At right. the end, you know, at the end of the session, or if people choose to work with me over a period of, uh, you know, after a, few, after a few sessions, I get to see their teeth, which means they are grinning from year to year. <laughs> That's so perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. Um, uh, yeah. So anyway, it is time. I'm going to interrupt you for a minute. Uh, it is time for a short yeah. break, Jackie. Sure. And uh, okay. so we'll be right back with more with Jackie. And we're going to find out more how she puts smiles on your faces. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality based in quebec canada joanne is also a space coach using social media and skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world contact joanne charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266 now is your time Welcome back. You are listening to The Healing Pendulum live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And I am your host, Kim DeBoer, and I'm here today with Jackie McLean, and she is a hypnotist. And we're having a conversation on on health and happiness. And uh, before the break, you were talking about, you know, working with people and, and you know, by the time you're, you're work with them for a while or whatever that... Um, you know, that they have a smile on their face. They're just feeling yeah. so much better, releasing these limiting yeah. beliefs and and yeah. things, right? And it feels, most of them say, it feels like I've lifted such a weight off my shoulders. Like, you know, this, this these bags of baggage that I've been carrying for years and years totally lifted from the shoulders, right? Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, mentioned earlier, Kim, it's so easy. It's so simple. Why not give it a go? Why not give it a try? Yeah. I mean, we we just, we don't, there's no need to suffer. Yeah. And with so many yeah. different things out there, like modalities and healing modalities out there, yeah. uh, there's really no need to go through the suffering. And, yeah. and, and, you know, and all of these modalities, including hypnosis, of course, uh, yeah. And hypnotherapy yeah. are becoming a mainstream, correct? Totally. And that's what I'm loving. You know, there's a, a medical doctor in the town that I live in, 
uh, him. And he refers so many people to me. And that and that's because he realizes that there's just so much he can do. Yeah. There's just that's so awesome. much he can do. Right? That's awesome that a medical but, doctor yeah. is or is yeah. uh, uh, you know referring you. Yeah, and let's face it, we all know that everything starts in the mind. You know, whether it's whether it's a financial situation, whether we are looking for a you know loving, supportive relationship, or or being healthy, everything starts. All those beliefs, everything is stored in our minds. Everything starts in our minds, and we are operating from our beliefs. Yes, we are. So whatever and- action, yeah, whatever action we take, whether it's big or small is an action based on our past experiences, based on our beliefs. And yeah, I, not I always say that, I think, always say that, um, you know, uh, the, the subconscious is running the show, <laughs> basically. Totally. Right? <laughs> you say that, Tim, I say the subconscious is the bus driver. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, that's funny but it's very very yeah. true and you know and there's happiness I mean happiness like I say could be in so many different forms it's like happiness yeah. in in your life happiness in your relationships happiness in your job yeah. Um, yeah. just happiness with being who you are yeah. and um, you know and so many people these days are are unhappy yeah, and, and it's yeah, just I'm so sad. Because they, you know, we are truly, be- they truly believe that it's outside of them. Mm-hmm. So, if you have a conversation with pe- some people, it's like, but you don't understand my situation. You don't understand that my spouse is leaving me. You don't understand that I have a very difficult boss. You don't understand that I have kids who are not supportive. Right. You don't right. understand that I have physical pain, which means that they are putting their happiness in somebody else's hand. They're giving their power away, essentially. Right. Time yes. to take back our power. Right. You that. have you help people get back their power in not so many words. Yes. Yes. And so, I mean, you you work also with um, with other um, not just addictions, but you work with other yes. things like what other things can hypnosis help with? Well, I've helped people uh, with simple, you know, I've had people who have fear of flying, right? Mm-hmm. Fear of crossing over the bridge. Many of my clients who come to see me, they're pulling their hair, they're biting their nails, they're, they're picking and pinching their, their skin off, right? Yes. Why? Because there's such an innate fear. It's so locked up in their body. Now they can't even function, right? Mm-hmm. And look at, you know, a situation of flying. So if there's a business owner, who wants to, you know, promote their business, take, take their business globally. But if they are stopped because of a fear of flying, what's the, what are the chances of the business, you know, being successful and profitable, right? Yeah. yeah. These are the inner, inner things that, that hold us and keep us stuck. Mm-hmm. Most people don't realize that, they are stuck and the body has to express it in some way. If we have a, a belief that's not supporting us, that's not supporting us to move forward, we just keep stay stuck and the body has to express it. So how does the body express it? We are now biting our nails. We are pulling right. our hair. We right, have so much. Right. I have so many clients who have anxiety over crossing these bridges that we have locally in BC. <laughs> There's in, lots in, of them in Vancouver. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? That yeah. would be a problem. 
Yeah. Oh dear, I yeah. shouldn't laugh at that because I, you know, it's it's quite yeah. serious when when you're going through that. And it on is. that note, it Jackie, is. it is time again yeah. for a short break. So again, everyone, uh, we will be right back. You're listening to BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and uh, don't go away. Uh, we'll be right back with more. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support be your teammate to help you understand what is your dream what is your life passion and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals life is worth living the best you can be working with a life coach you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion and it's your way of living let me help you do that today let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living i'm steve fagan i'm a life coach and i'm here for you Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back, everyone. This is The Healing Pendulum, and you're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today I have Jackie McLean with us, and she is a hypnotist, which is very cool. She helps uh, many people with many different uh, issues. And uh, hi, Jackie. <laughs> hello, so, Jim. <laughs> hello. Um, so, like, can you give some examples of people that you have helped and issues that you've helped people with? Yeah, absolutely. I like to tell people that I have the best job in the world because I get to see miracles every day. Awesome. (laughs) You know, one of my most recent clients, uh, she worked with me for two months. Uh, When she came to me, she was recommended to me by a, by her by her counselor whom she was seeing for a long time and I know this person as well so she recommended her to me and this this client was obese and the reason she came to me was she required surgery on her left knee she had had surgery on her right knee earlier and now it was time for the left knee and the surgeon refused to Uh, to do surgery on her until she lost weight. So when she came to see me, we had this conversation. So now she had pain in her knee. She had pain in her shoulders. Uh, She walked with a cane. And she was a teacher, by the way. And uh, she walked with a cane. She was close to 60. And she was struggling with depression, she told me, for 38 years. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Yes. So she had, you know, a bag full of challenges before, you know, and her fear was, I need surgery. I have so much pain. So Kim, the first thing that we took care of using hypnosis, the power of the mind, was to stop her pain. So at the end of the first session, her pain completely dissolved. Right. When she stood up, she says, and I asked her, I said, how are you feeling? She says, oh, my gosh, the pain has gone. 
Now, wow. I have helped people in the past as well release their pain totally. But because we have these subconscious beliefs lurking in the background, there's a tendency to bring it back. Right. So mm-hmm. I not only helped her release that pain during that session, I taught her what to do while she was at home should the pain come back. So I encouraged her to practice it. When she came back to see me the next session, she said the pain did come back a, a tiny bit, but she used the techniques that I taught her. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, at the end of the first month, which was about five sessions that we had, uh, oh, and I mentioned she's a teacher. So after two or three sessions, when she went back to school, one day, there were kids who came chasing after her saying, Miss, Miss, you've forgotten your cane. <laughs> Kim, she didn't require her cane anymore. Wow. That's fabulous. That's Wasn't fabulous. That fabulous. So, yeah. So at the end of the, at the month, the five sessions, you know, I did encourage her to take, to do another month and she agreed and she did. At the end of the first month, uh, she was walking without a cane. Uh, She started going back golfing. Oh, wow. And (laughs) she, she, yeah. And she got a new job. Why? Because now her energy had totally changed. Mm -hmm. Changed her life. You know, uh, it changes her life. Changed her Uh, life. Then, yeah. So in a she month. worked with me for two months, and she was a completely new person. Like, yeah. like I, like I mentioned, I could see her teeth. <laughs> wow, that and is that's she, incredible. She, she called me. She called me about three weeks after we were completely finished with our two month program, and she said she had gone back to the surgeon for the surgery, and he told her that she was no longer a candidate for surgery. <laughs> Yay! (laughs) Those are the words you want to hear. (laughs) Yeah. Again, it's the power. You know, she made the change. Yeah. Right? She made the decision. She made the change. Mm -hmm. I was simply a facilitator. Hypnosis is a tool to help that through that process. Right. Right. I cannot help somebody. I can't take their pain away. I can teach them how to do it. I can't right. take somebody's pain away, just like you can, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I love and just by reprogramming the the power of our mind. Yes, and yes. How we can, can make anything. change. It was. It's just so amazing. Yeah, and I what have if... so many other miracles. You know, people where people's lives, and not just the people who have come to me, came their entire family's life changes. Mm-hmm. Right. The, mm-hmm. It's the family's life changes. Yeah, I was working recently with another gentleman who was blind in one eye. And would you like to hear that story? Or yes, I would. Would you like? <laughs> <laughs> I love these success stories. <laughs> these are yes. feel-good stories. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love success stories uh, as well because you know it really gives people hope. Most people who are who are riddled with pain don't even know that there is a way out. It's like, yeah. you know, I am, I'm stuck with this life till I die. Yeah. And I want to tell people that's not true. There is a way out. We don't have to be stuck in these stories from the past. Time exactly. To go for good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Time it is, it is just being open. It's being open to the possibilities that are out there. Totally. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so, and I always say, yeah, we've tried so many things that don't work. You know, why not give it a go? Why not give yourself this gift of yeah. attempting something new? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, love I do that. too. Yeah. I do too. And it, you know, when you, you know, there are some people that I've experienced who are not ready to move forward so you know I've worked with them and they're actually stuck in their misery yeah in a sense so they start feeling better 
and it's just so yeah. unfamiliar and uncomfortable to them that they right. revert back. Correct. Right? Yeah. And right, which nothing, is unfortunate. Nothing, yeah, it's really unfortunate, and there's nothing you can do. And it goes back to the same thing. Happiness is a choice. Yes. Right? Yes. They have a choice to give themselves that gift or to stay stuck in their misery. Right. And I think the question, choice. yeah, I think the question with that is also like, what are the, what, what are they getting out of being stuck? Yeah. You know what, because there's something that is feeding them, whether, you know, it's attention or, mm. or something that is, uh, is feeding them because there's something, there's a reason yeah. why that they want to remain there. But, yeah. um, but there is a way out. There is a way out. Yeah. We can help. There is a way out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. it's time for another break, Jackie. So um, okay. time for a short break. We'll be right back with more on health okay. and happiness with Jackie McLean. Yeah. Don't go away. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural yeah. resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline. And she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes. And she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Welcome back. You're listening to The Healing Pendulum live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And I am your host, Kim DeBoer. And today we have Jackie McLean with us. And just before the break, we were talking about people that, um, you know, are stuck and they really are having trouble moving out of their um, comfort zone, so to speak. Um, Jackie, can you expand on that a little bit on what you've experienced with some of your clients? People are, in my experience, I see they're stuck in their, in the place that they're stuck in. They're stuck in their story, essentially. And I, I believe it's education, right? Most of us don't even know there is a way out. Agreed. Most of us don't know there is a way out. I see, you know, I work with, uh, with CEOs, with executives, with business owners who struggle with you know, either too much alcohol or cocaine. Now, Mm -hmm. in this situation, they continue getting stuck in that downward, not only stuck, but it's now a downward spiral. Because if if it's alcohol, these top executives and business owners do not want to be seen at an AA meeting. They don't want to be seen at an NA meeting. Executives who work in organizations, you know, Mm -hmm. are afraid that if it gets to be known, they will be fired from their job. They stand to lose their wife, their children. I worked with someone. He was terrified of losing his wife, his two little kids, 
his home and his job. And he was doing cocaine and alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. So, right. And they don't want to be seen. And that, I want people to know that help is available. And that, you know, help is available. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. We, there is a way out. So. Yeah. 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 And again, it's being stuck in your stuckness. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. And it's so unfortunate. It is so yeah. unfortunate. That's why I really welcome people to have a free consultation with me. It's confidential. It's discreet. So, you know, it's the purpose of this conversation, Tim, that I will have is to help people gain clarity on their situation. So right. now they are in the driver's seat and they can decide whether hypnosis is for them. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And yeah. now you can do sessions uh, remotely as well, correct? Yes. I work yeah. uh, globally with people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. great. That's great. That's a very uh, generous offer, free discovery session, which is really great. Um, I think yeah. you have another gift for the audience, don't you? Yes. Uh, Lots of gifts. I, you know, people, if people can go, your audience can go to my website and download my free audio. And people tell me that it helps help them sleep peacefully through the night. And we all know, Kim, we all know that, you know, all of us require to have a deeper, better sleep. It's good for our health, which equates our happiness. It's good for our overall being, for our productivity, for our focus. It will help in our relationships. It will help bring down our levels of stress. So go to my website, thepowerwithin.com, and download my free audio sleep peacefully through the night. So no, that's sorry, is it gift. you said you said dot com, is it dot com or dot ca? Or is it both? Dot ca. Dot ca. No, dot okay. ca. The power within dot ca. Right. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. And yeah. um so so anything else, any other stories that you can you can tell us? Any other examples of of what the wonderful work yes, that you I, do? Yeah, I had worked with a gentleman who traveled about two and a half hours to come and see me many years ago. And he he had come for his anger management, you know, anger management. And he was blind in one eye. He had lost one eye in an accident many years ago. So he came to me recently earlier this year. This time, of course, he, his wife had to drive, drive him to see me because his, he was losing sight in the other eye with glaucoma and other things happening. Anyway, I know we don't have too much time, but the long and short of this, Kim, was that after three sessions, after the first session, actually, he went back to his surgeon and his eyesight had improved by 60%. You know, when, when you have those, those letters that they get you to read, he could yes. read 60% of those. And after wow. three sessions, he went back to his surgeon. And, of course, he called me after we had finished our work. And he was driving again, Kim. Wow. wow. He was driving again. Again, you know, hypnosis is it's using the power of our mind to make change, right? Yeah. Like yeah. what, what, why we don't require to hold ourselves back anymore. There is a way out. Mm-hmm. There is a way to be healthy and happy. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right? And there you is know, a way to be uh, healthy and happy. Uh, yeah, and in our later years as well, you know, like this whole thing on yeah. on aging, you know, that you yeah. know, when we get older, you know, then we, you know, part of getting older is having aches and pains. Part of getting older is going blind. Part of getting older is yeah. losing your hearing. Yeah. Part of, you know, yeah. not being able to think to do the things that you like to do, and that is so not true. Yeah, yeah. those are just beliefs. They yeah, are they are just us. beliefs. Time to let them go. Exactly. 
And on that yeah. note, <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> sorry, our time together is coming to a close. Um, thank, thank you, you again thank you. very much for being on the show and always great information. And and I hope that uh, some of the listeners will take advantage of your free offers that, um, you know, that you have told us about. And uh, so, yeah, thanks again, Jackie. And um, have a wonderful rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We'll be right back with the, with the closing of the show. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope. There is help. There is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Horses. Mystical. Present. Past. And future. All in one. Wild. Free. Domestic. And healing. For everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Welcome back to The Healing Pendulum, live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I am your host, Kim DeBoer. And uh, thanks again to Jackie McLean for being here uh, with us today and sharing her knowledge um, and expertise with us. And again, her website is www.thepowerwithin.ca, where you can uh, access the free gifts, free consultation with her, a discovery session, and um, there's a self-hypnosis, I believe, as well. So... um, Yes, I have another quote for you because I I had um, I just think I just felt that it was something that I needed to share with you, and it's uh, what we think determines what happens to us. So if we want to change our lives, we need to stretch our minds. And that was a quote by Wayne Dyer. And you know that was what we had been discussing uh, with Jackie. It's just. You know, stretching our minds, being open to the possibilities, um, nothing is impossible. So the mission of this show um, is to reach one million people to bring more awareness around this body-mind connection that we were talking about. And all of us have that power within us to take responsibility for our own health, our own wealth, and our happiness. And there's just no reason to suffer as we were talking earlier. So, you know, let's help each other release the wounds of our past that are making us sick, that are interfering with our quality of life and interfering with our hopes and dreams. We should never give up on on our dreams. I mean, they are what keeps us forging ahead in life. So really never give up on your dreams. It's all possible. And if you know anyone in your life that is suffering emotionally, mentally, or physically, um, 
then please share the healing pendulum with them. You know, there's there's replays that uh, on many different subjects that something could just um, click with them and something could really help them to get through this difficult time. Um, so again, all the shows, they can also be found on my website, www.thehealingpendulum.com. And while you're there, you can, you can access and download Kim's Summer Wellness Guide, which is a free guide. And summer is just about over, but uh, so it's going to be coming down soon. So uh, if you'd like to go there, you can access that guide before it is gone. And it teaches you, you know, about the benefits of exercise, reducing stress, exploring better uh, lifestyle habits, etc., and uh, so my, why not commit to yourself to get your mind and body in alignment? I'd also really love to hear from you in the comments section of, you know, whatever platform you're listening on. Uh, or you can always email me at Kim at the healing pendulum dot com. Again, I'd love to hear from you. See if you have any questions or concerns or anything that I can help you with. And also, uh, let me see, I have uh, next week's show, we have Dr. Jody McDonald, who will be joining us. And she is a holistic practitioner who specializes in helping those with chronic illnesses. And so that's going to be a great show. Mark that in your calendar. So remember to be courageous, embrace your power, and take responsibility for your own health, wealth, and happiness. Without your health, there is no wealth. So sleep well, eat nutritious foods, move your body, and most importantly, love yourself just the way you are right now. This is a Healing Pendulum, helping you on your journey to better health and more happiness. Go well and gently, and see you next week. You've been listening to The Healing Pendulum with Kim DeBoer. If something has happened in your past that's caused you to hold on unconsciously to negative emotions, then this is the place for you. Each week on The Healing Pendulum with Kim DeBoer. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.